Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter, the drywalleriest carpenter on the internet. Guaranteed. Okay, today we are going to be installing a flexible corner bead on these corners. So I wouldn't normally do this, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this for absolute beginners, but if you are an experienced homeowner who's done a lot of work, if you are a handyman, a contractor, or even someone, you know, like a new drywaller, I would definitely recommend getting acquainted with corner bead on a roll. The reason is sometimes you're gonna be driving around and you just don't have corner bead on hand, but if you have some of this and you've got say a small little nook like this or just some short corner beads, this stuff is definitely gonna come in handy. So this is the Wide Flex 400, which is very similar to say the No Coat 450. It's a nice wide one. And this one seems to have a slightly rounded corner, which is nice. I don't know if no coat's changed in the last couple of years or not, but the no coat has a super sharp corner that doesn't actually look like a regular corner bead. Just pull enough out of the box that you can get it right down to the bottom. And I'm just gonna eyeball this, leave it a tiny bit short so I don't have to cut it again. Pre-crease it, so we've got one. For right here. And go end to end on this one. This one needs to be all the way to the end. Very close. I'm going to have it within an eighth of an inch or less. This will be the first one that we install. And the other two will butt up to this one. Make sure it fits before I get started working. Perfect. And we've got our one last piece here. I hope my mics are on. Phew! Sometimes I forget to turn on my mics, but didn't today. Once you have this pre-creased, installing it is basically the same as a regular corner bead. I got taping mud here, and I put on a generous amount. I used to say a liberal amount, but now that's too much of a trigger word. There's one for the floor. I like to make sure I have a nice thick eighth of an inch of mud on there. Oh, wrong piece. Okay, and then you just install it like a corner bead. And for short stretches like this, this stuff will stay nice and straight. If you're doing long stretches, there's a risk that it can really wave on you. Right now I'm just getting most of the mud out from underneath just with my hand. Okay, so just wipe it out. Easy peasy. So on a regular corner bead, you have to make sure this part of the bead is not hanging out on this side of the wall. And that when you do this, you could see daylight through your knife. It's a little bit less critical on this. On these ones, what you have to make sure of is that this part is not higher than the nose of the bead. So in a way, they're kind of easier. As you can see, it's sticking up about, you know, two mils there. You can use all-purpose mud or all-purpose light as well. Both of those are adequate. I actually kind of like this stuff. Again, I definitely wouldn't use it in every circumstance. Just these sort of one-offs when I don't have a corner bead. Check to make sure that it's sitting reasonably flat. And if you feel like there's too much mud under there, just push a little harder on this part, not the actual uh, flange, but on the plastic part of the bead to get a little bit more out. Now we're looking good. We'll do this side.
I would definitely say that it would be easy to leave too much mud underneath these if you're not careful. And you also really want to make sure that you line up the edges, I should say the nose of your beads where they meet up right there. Now I'm always gonna say that you should definitely put a tape across your beads right here. The downside to doing this on these ones is that there isn't really a real nosing. There's no proper raised edge here to help hide this. So we'll probably have to build it out a little bit at the top to make that actually disappear. I also held it back about a quarter of an inch, more than I usually would. The purpose of these tapes is to stop the crack that can form right here where there's a hard edge. Once you've got it all taped, there's no reason you can't throw a quick coat on it. I find corner beads in general, you can get away with putting a coat on. It's not like paper tape where you need to wait for it to totally dry. Uh, if you wanted me to tell you why, I don't really know. I just know. From the times that I've tried coating paper tape too soon, doesn't work out. And every time I've ever coated corner bead too soon, uh, it's been fine as long as it has adequate drying time. If you rush it and don't give it adequate drying time, what will happen is you're going to get delayed shrinkage and you're gonna see the profiles of the bead and where your tapes are, all that stuff will show up later. I got something nice in the mud there, of course. Let's just try that again. And I'm being careful to leave a little bit extra over top of where the tape is so that that actually gets hidden. So that's just our first coat. Show you guys up close in a second. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. So I'm pretty happy with it, especially just for our first coat and tape. It's gonna take a couple of days to dry, at least, before I can actually sand it and put another coat on. But I would say that with just one more coat, we're gonna be able to get this looking good. So that is how to install flexible corner bead. Again, I would not recommend this on long stretches. If you do this on a long stretch, make sure that you check it with a straight edge because I guarantee you it's gonna have some waves in it. So put that straight edge on both sides after you install it to just make sure that it is right where it should be. It sits in your vehicle a lot easier than corner bead. You're not likely to bend it or break it. Um, yeah, it's just good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video and I hope your project's going well. And if you're looking for a way to support the channel, there is always the Patreon. Although if you made it this far, you probably know about it and you've probably helped by now. Anyways, thanks a lot you guys. Till the next video.